Hi everyone, it's Matt with another Essential Skills video. Uh, this time we're going to take another look at the Skills Canada Essential Skills app. This time we're going to click on the Test Your Essential Skills icon in the top left corner. So here you see all nine essential skills listed. Each skill gives six questions. Unfortunately, you must do them order unless you skip each section and give yourself your own rating. I don't recommend that, so I'm just going to um, start with reading. We click Let's Go. It gives us an explanation of what reading is in terms of essential skills, and you also see the option down below to skip the section by giving yourself your own rating. We're going to click Start. So this section, um, or this question, sorry, uh, is instructions on how to pay for a frozen yogurt dessert. Uh, I find sometimes it's easier to read the question first, mm -hmm. and then you know what to look for. So the question says, how do you pay for the frozen yogurt dessert that you make? Is it by volume, by weight, or by size? So go back to the top and read the instructions. Choose a flavor for your frozen yogurt. Choose a size, small, medium, or large. Add toppings to your frozen yogurt. Pass your creation to our staff to weigh. Pay and enjoy your wonderful dessert. So it doesn't actually say flat out that you pay by weight, but it does say pass your creation to our staff to weigh. So it's pretty safe to say that you're paying by weight. Volume and size are not mentioned at all. So click by weight and submit answer. And it tells you whether you're correct or not. This next question looks like an email from our boss. The question asks, what are the two tasks that Joe has been asked to complete today? So let's read the email. I need you to help with an estimate today. Talk to Chris about details. It will be done sometime between 1 and 3 p.m. 1230 Shade Road. Customer is Miss Payne. Replacement of five windows. Customer wants info on e-rating, so take some handouts and be ready to explain Energy Star standards. Thanks. So we have to decide which two tasks are you actually going to do today. So the first option, go to Miss Payne's house, replace five windows. Help with an estimate, replace five windows. Help with an estimate, explain e-ratings. We're not actually replacing any windows today, so that means the first two options are incorrect, leaving us with only the third. So let's take a look at the third answer. Help with an estimate, explain e-ratings. Yep, help with an estimate is the first thing mentioned in the email, and it finishes by asking us to explain e-ratings. So I'm going to choose that as my answer. So I skipped ahead and went to the docket use section. Like I said, I don't want to give away all the questions to you. Um, so document use, uh, this question is a, a pretty simple floor plan. It looks like it's probably a school or something because we see it has a library, gym, cafeteria, book room and office, etc. So the question says, which exit should room 126 use? So all we have to do is find room 126, and we see these lime green lines all over the floor plan, and those lime green lines lead you to the nearest exit. Um, as you know, in an emergency situation, it's best to take the closest exit. So room 126, if you follow that lime green line, it brings you to the east exit. That's all the questions we're going to look at today. I just wanted to finish with an, uh, a message for you. Um, if you didn't do that, great. Don't worry about it. The questions uh, can be different each time. Some of them will be the same. They'll, they are always in a different order as well. Um, also, they aren't timed, so you can take your time and think about it and, and read and reread so you come up with the best answer. All right. I hope everyone's uh, keeping busy during this time. See you soon in another video. Thanks. Bye.